In this video, I'm gonna share with you a sunrise and a sunset and see which one is better or even how they complement each other. So I am now in Madeira and I am at Pico Rivo, which is a wonderful place. And I have some plan of taking some photographs of trees and maybe going to the top afterwards because the trees are a little bit uh, at the bottom of the top peak of this beautiful island. And we're going to go through the whole sunrise together so that I can show you a little bit the colors and the experience that you can have. And I really hope that I can have a good weather because now it's very cloudy, but you never know here because clouds can be very fast and with the sun warming up a little bit, that might just move everything around and I might get very lucky to get an amazing light. So I'm really keeping fingers crossed here and hopefully I get the perfect light this morning and can share with you amazing photographs. So I'm going to have breakfast now because I woke up at 5 in the morning and <laughs> I'm going to eat something before we start the sunrise and then I'm going to share with you a little more once the light is up. All right, speak to you in a minute. I am having wonderful time now. It's just like incredible, you can't even imagine. So I am on top of this uh, peak and there is like clouds rolling all over the place. It's just wonderful. So it's like about like, uh, let me check. It's about half an hour before sunrise. So it's the blue hour and it's just amazing. So I've got this tree here. I guess you can see it like it's right here, but now of course it's a little dark and uh, I can't go any brighter with this camera. Maybe I can increase a little bit the light so that you can see better. I'm not sure if it will really help for the background. And it's just amazing. So I found a nice composition where I placed the tree on the, on the right hand side of the, of the screen, of the picture, <laughs> and uh, like capturing the whole scene, which is on the background, which extends like uh, very, uh, extensively and um and there is like the sea of clouds right in front of me it's just amazing so i'm just right above them and behind me it's a little bit like cloudy as well and uh, but clouds are rolling all over and it's just amazing so i managed to do an amazing shot with a like a four second shot to get the rolling clouds i took a 30 second shot for the foreground so that it's highlighted and uh, I took a shot a little bit faster to not uh, blow the highlights in the sky and I have a fourth shot for this one because I'm not sure if you can see it but it's a little bit windy right now and and because it's windy then I have the the grass and all the the bushes around that are like moving so I raised my ISO to 3200 and then I could shot the, the bushes at a little bit of faster speed, about like a, a half a second or something like this, which is actually great because I kind of fix them a little bit more than having them completely shaky with the, in the scene. So, and I, I might probably do it again now that it's a little bit brighter and um, catch them at a, a little bit faster faster speed. And I'm gonna try to find another composition after that because, oh my God, that's just wonderful. I really had such amazing conditions. And now I'm hoping that everything will be highlighted when the sun will rise. And yeah, oh, that's exciting, really exciting. I talk to you in a bit because now I, I really need to be active and, and take pictures. All right, ciao. can finally show you how it looks. The sun just got out like a few minutes ago 
and the scene is just incredible it's like you can see on the background the clouds that are rolling here the sun is coming from the right hand side and hitting the tree from of course the right hand side too and it's just wonderful it's just wonderful the mountains on the background and oh my god it's it's really really a true wonder so i'm so happy i came here this morning it's like kind of a dream come true i actually discovered this place uh, when i was looking um like watching some other youtube channel and especially uh the one from niger danson so if you don't know him i invite you to to look at his ch channel he's a very well-known youtuber and uh, he does fairly good job at uh I mean, more than fairly good job at, at taking pictures. So I can only recommend you his channel. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm having like the time of my life here. <laughs> One important thing when you're capturing trees like that, it's make sure that you kind of isolate it within its scene. So I'm not sure if you understand what I mean by this, but uh probably the best is, is to explain you that for example you would go a little bit lower so that the the shape like the part which is the branches which are on the top they kind of get for example here in the cloud and that way you would see it like really separated from from the foreground and from the background and that kind of makes the scene a little more attractive and a little more kind of organized otherwise that gets really mess messy and it doesn't look like something you really want to you really, you really want to look at because uh, a messy picture is in my opinion is a picture that doesn't really work everything needs to be well organized and that's actually what composition is all about being organized making sure things are well placed well in order in your picture and that way you will be able to photograph amazing things and uh, give me a, a moment but i'm going to share with you uh, some few uh, some few stuff here like especially what i'm recording with my camera so that you can uh, can have an idea of what uh, what i mean by separating the subject change my angle so that you guys can see a little bit more of what is happening here in my scene so we've got the tree here we've got the clouds the and the, the mountain on the background the sun is on my back and actually i am now recording with this camera and i'm gonna show you here exactly uh, what what is happening in the scene and comment a little bit so that you can understand a little more the concept i was talking about earlier so basically uh, here um, the the picture here is cropped because of uh, the video but i have a little more foreground normally and a little more sky um, uh, as, as i was telling you earlier the tree here from that part on is really separated from its background and from the foreground which really makes it like organized and everything well in place in the picture and so we've got the sun coming from the left hand side highlighting the the tree as well from the left hand side and all the grasses around which really gives um kind of a nice sense of colors and 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 lightning in in the scene and the, the sun is still soft so it's it's really really cool now and then we've got the mountains here in the background that are dressing the background of the of the scene and of course of, of course adding some depth We've got the cloud coming from the right hand side and rolling over down the mountain. And this is what actually creates the separation, having the white background with the tree on right in front of it. That really creates a nice separation. And of course, we've got some mountains here that are like also making up for the background. And, and that's, that scene is just really wonderful. And that's just like something very unique in my opinion and something I'm really enjoying like photographing and 
having fun around. So there are like some few more trees around this area. So I might just try to, to, to catch some more of them and see what is happening or I still play with that one. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you some few pictures now and um, hopefully you enjoy them. I'm going to come back in the evening uh, at the same place and see what is happening because of course the sun will be highlighting on the other side of the mountain and I really hope that I'm going to get amazing conditions, probably similar to that one. That will be really amazing. So I talk to you later this evening and in the meantime, enjoy the pictures and have a good rest of the day. Welcome back. So I finally made it again for sunrise. As this morning is just a beautiful place. And um, there is something I wanted to mention is that this morning I was uh, actually after the, the session I had, like the, the sunrise, I started shooting some trees around and that actually gave me an amazing result. And I shoot them with my XF 18 to 55 millimeters and my 55 to 200 millimeters. So a little more on the longer end and uh, more like telephoto like uh, pictures. And they were like just amazing because they were like rolling clouds on the background with dark background green on the foreground and those white trees in the middle so i'm gonna share with you some few pictures right now so that uh, you can also enjoy this view so let's check that So it's finally happening right in front of my eyes. The sky is coloring, the clouds are here and coloring too. So it's really amazing. And that actually happens exactly like I was imagining. So in the morning, I got more of a blue, purple, dark oranges colors uh, during the blue hour. And then soft yellow light highlighting the whole scene from the east obviously and having the tree highlighted and now during the night the sun is kind of hidden behind uh well not kind it's hidden behind the um the mountain and so i don't have any grass or any trees highlighted here but i do have this beautiful light on the background highlighting the mountains and the clouds and this would be like kind of kind of darker orange or like warm orange. I would not call it dark orange, but more like a warm orange. And uh, that's gonna be like really amazing. And it will slowly downgrade to uh, something a little more, maybe a little bit pinky, maybe with a bit of luck and um, probably bluer than afterwards. So this, let's see exactly how it happens. And if there are like some, uh, some clouds in the sky uh, in, in about half an hour, that would be really amazing. And uh, yeah. It's just wonderful. And now I'm actually having an amazing scene. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm shooting now. So let me put this straight. And there we go. So basically, so you can see probably here what I'm seeing on my camera. So I'm now putting a different um, uh, composition here because this morning I was really centralizing this tree in my pictures because I thought that would really add a lot to, uh, to, the, to the scene and since there were some lights around that was really amazing and that's really added up to the to the whole scene now the light is on the back so you can see here the light is here so basically i want to attract the eyes to the light but still keeping the tree as a subject so i keep the tree on the right hand part of the left left hand part sorry of my uh, of my screen of my picture and then i will have all of this attracting the eyes and kind of the tree leading towards the light here so that really makes for a great image in my opinion and 
On top of that, we've got like the beautiful mountains visible that were not really visible in the morning. So it's really fantastic. Now I might even try to do some long exposure and see if I could get a little bit of rolling clouds, although now they seem to disappear slowly, but well, here you never know. Like they disappear and then one appears again. So let's see what this gives. now I went back towards the tree and I am like now having it centered in my image and I'm actually now hoping for the sky to get pink and those little clouds small clouds that are like kind of heat clouds to get pink as well so the the um, some of the clouds starts to be uh, to color like really really uh, pink so I'm really hoping that it's gonna be like that up there and um, that it's going to be bring a lot of atmosphere to the picture so i'm really keeping fingers crossed and i actually flew my drone and you probably saw just before the uh the the shot that i showed you and i went i flew up there like basically on the back of the mountain which is of that mountain which is the pico river and there is like a a sea of clouds on the back and it's just like wonderful and I'm gonna put then uh, afterwards a shot I took uh, with the drone and I hope it's gonna give a good result because wow that was like really amazing could have like the mountains drawing the mountains on the foreground and then the sea of clouds on the background and some of the mountains like uh, the driving the eyes like acting as leading lines it was like really really cool stuff so I'm really having high hopes so let me take a shot of this and see if it brings something interesting. Ah, it does something interesting. It does something interesting because the clouds up there, I'm not sure if you can see the, their color, but they are like orange pink. It's really nice, really, really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna continue shooting and uh, we'll speak in a bit. I looked back behind me and I saw the beautiful sky highlighted all in pink because the sun is setting on that direction and highlighting the whole sky and that was like really wonderful. So I clearly changed direction and now I'm shooting this scene. I'm gonna share with you a video here to show you a little bit what I'm doing with this picture. So as you can see here, we do have the sky which is pink with the sun highlighting from the right hand side here. and of course everything is pink from the sun so just like pink and blue really brings an amazing atmosphere i can't state it enough I, as i said in the morning i separated the, the tree the trunk and the branches so that the tree is clearly visible and we really have everything organized on the pictures and that's really important to really keep this because if i would have like half of the branches covered in the on the mountains and other half like in the sky that would look like really messy and you really want to avoid this and like here this is really working very well and the tree that goes in that direction here like really brings you into looking into that direction towards the light so it's, it's really amazing of course i kept some foreground to bring a little bit of depth and the mountains on the background which are here to also bring some depth and of course like some atmosphere to the overall picture so that's that's really a cool picture and I'm, I'm really glad i looked back so that's also one very good advice here like always look back look back look back because you never know what is happening behind you and trust me like like it really helped and many times it happened to me to figure out like i could make amazing pictures by just changing angles around my subject so yeah like really lucky and i might just like moved again to the other side because now the sky is highlighted in pink on the other side so yeah, it just doesn't stop tonight it's just amazing i guess that's pretty much it for 
today the light is almost gone and we will uh, enter slowly in the blue hour but given that I'm, I'm behind the mountain and the sun is highlighting on the other side I don't think I will have much opportunity for the for the blue hour and uh, I think that's gonna be done for today but anyways that was like just wonderful and um, I mean, in the end, I think what we learn here is that when you go to the same place at least twice to go for sunrise and for sunset, you have the, really the opportunity to see the scene in a very different setup. So uh, you will have like light coming from different angles, color of the light, which is really different. So even the same compositions would really look completely different in the end. And um, I'm fairly happy that, uh, that I had this opportunity and that I got like extremely lucky with the weather because the past few days really, it was like really bad. And yeah, that was a little bit of, uh, of bad luck, but well, I caught it up today, so it's pretty amazing. And there is another thing I wanted to share with you. So today I bought this on a hike I did during the day, which is a honey cake. And I bought some Madeira wine, so that's a very tiny bottle. And I was like really curious to try both of them. And I thought like, okay, if today is amazing, then I'm gonna try those two like on the video. So I'm gonna open all of this and share this with you and like really and really see if it's really good so the cake looks like this i'm not sure if you can see well i put the light so there is kind of a nut in the middle and it looks like a chocolate cake but that's not a chocolate cake so let's give it a shot i'm gonna open this and it's very traditional from madeira um well well that's oh that smells good mm. Mm, yeah that's nice. A little bit dry. Not really tasty. Mmm. Yeah. I recommend you if you come here, buy some and try. Um, very amazing. Um, now I'm gonna try the small wine. So I'm sorry. I had to try this. I'm not gonna drink it all. Huh? I'm driving afterwards. I just like to try the taste. Mm. I'm gonna put as well. At the bottom, like a small warning signal that now I'm, you should be careful when you drink like something like that. I think I better be careful with that. So cheers, guys. That's a medium sweet Madeira wine. Mm, that's really good. Mm. That's really good. As I said I'm not drinking too much, but that's really good and that pairs very well with the with the honey cake. Mm, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Discovered a lot of stuff today. So alright guys, after this uh, this tiny moment of fun. Um I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you had a lot of fun, that you learned some stuff, that you really liked the place I showed you. And yeah, that you really also enjoyed the the, the food and the and the drink and yeah i just like want to remind you that in case you like my videos like feel free to subscribe with the subscribe button bo below or even the one in the corner i think it's here or here so with that good luck with your photography and see you next week for new adventures